So as you can see from my resume, I've been babysitting for a long time. I have to say, Anna, I'm quite impressed. It seems like you have the exact qualifications we've been looking for. Thank you. And to be honest, it would be a huge honor to work for you, Mr. Richards. I am a big fan of the films that you've directed. In fact, I'm an aspiring actress myself. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, everything looks great, and we do need someone to work tonight, so I would say you're hired. Unless you have some questions, honey? Uh, Anna, would you, um, would you just give us a, a minute? <clears throat> I think we're moving a little fast. But, honey, she's perfect. She's exactly what we've been looking for. I don't know. There's something off about her. Didn't it feel like she was flirting with me the whole time? And didn't you say that you wanted to hire somebody a little, I don't know, a little bit older? Is that what's been bothering you? That she's young and attractive? <laughs> I figured would give you a nice break from having to look at me all day. Hey, what are you talking about? I couldn't get sick of looking at you. You're beautiful. <sighs> yeah, right. <sighs> we both know I haven't looked the same ever since I gave birth. Besides, you're surrounded by young and attractive women all day at your job. Sure, you're used to flirting with them, pretty girls. No. I mean, I would hope that you would have the trust to know that I wouldn't do something like that. If we don't have trust, then we don't have anything, right? Hmm. Well then, there's nothing for you to worry about. So let's not keep her waiting. Fine. <sighs> oh. I look so fat in this dress. <laughs> what are you talking about, honey? You look great. No, I look like a whale. I haven't been able to lose this weight since the pregnancy. I'm gonna change my dress. Will you get the door? Yeah, sure, honey. Hey, stop being so hard on yourself. You look great. Anna, hey, thanks for coming. I must say that you look very handsome all dressed up, Mr. Richards. Uh, thank you. You are all dressed up too. Are you going somewhere after this? <laughs> Actually, I wore this for you. All right. Um, come on in. So we're getting ready to head out. Can I get you anything? Something to drink? You got Water, juice. Mm, do you have any tequila? Um, well, uh, <laughs> the baby is asleep already. Um, so, yeah, I get, yeah, that's. Hey, here you go. How do you like it? However you want to give it to me. Here you go. What, are you seriously not going to take one with me? No. No, I couldn't. No, that wouldn't be appropriate. Who said we had to be appropriate? Okay, so I, um... I actually really gotta go. Uh, you know, if you need anything, um, just, just call us. Sorry, just one more thing. It has always been my dream to become an actress. It's so hard finding work. Do you mind looking at my new headshots? Well, what do you think? 
I think that they are fine, and I'm sorry, but I really gotta go. Wait. Ty is crooked. Let me fix it for you. You know, my wife is gonna be down here any second, so. Let's cut to the chase. We all know how it works in Hollywood. Give me a role in your upcoming film, and I'll give you something in return. What do you say? No. No, absolutely not. That is enough, Anna. You need to go. But I thought you needed me to babysit. Look, maybe I haven't made this abundantly clear, but I love my wife. She trusts me. And I'm not going to do anything to break that trust. Look, it's okay. Just forget it happened. You don't need to tell your no, wife. No, 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 no. This is not up for discussion. You are fired. You need to leave. Are you serious? Go. Honey, oh my God, I gotta tell you something. I fired the babysitter. She tried to come on to me. Can you believe that? What? Oh my God. Yeah, I told you, something was off about her. Well, it's okay. I'm sure this kind of thing happens to you at work all the time. No, it doesn't. And if it did, I would tell you about it. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? What is going on? I made a huge mistake. I feel terrible. You see? Ever since giving birth, I've just been feeling so insecure about myself. My body just hasn't been the same, and I haven't been feeling attractive at all. And what makes it even harder is that I know you're surrounded by pretty girls all day at work. I've been so worried that you're going to fall in love with one of them and forget all about me. So I did something I shouldn't have. I found a pretty actress online to come over and pretend to be a babysitter to see how you'd respond. So you see, Anna's not a real babysitter. She's an actress. And the only reason she was trying to seduce you is because I told her to. I wanted to see if you would cheat on me. What? So this was all just some test? How could you do something like that? I know. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. I, I thought you would break our trust. But it turns out, I let my insecurities do that instead. What you did was not right. But at least now, I hope you realize that you're the only woman I want to be with. You have nothing to worry about. Okay? Okay. I'm so sorry. Now I realize that you were right. If, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Thank you for helping me see that. I love you. I love you too.